I'm James Crouch here with Alliance Tire, and we're setting the air pressure on this VF3890 R46. Uh, there are a couple different ways, there are several different ways you can actually figure out how much air pressure you need in a tire. The best way is to actually have a scale, drive over the machine when it's fully loaded in transport position like this, because that's the, this is the heaviest load that this, that's going to be applied to this tire. So have a scale, drive over the scale, it'll show you exactly how much weight is on the tire. Go to your tire manufacturer's website, you can find what the product catalog and you can figure out your pressure. Now, I've done several of these, so I know the load on the tire, but we're kind of double checking some things. The, another metric you can use is, uh, is called static loaded radius. It's in every manufacturer's catalog. You can look it up uh, for, for any tire. Uh, for this specific tire, the static loaded radius of this tire is supposed to be 33.4 inches. So from the center line of this hub, from dead center in the hub to the ground, when it's fully loaded, it should be 33.4 inches and is properly inflated. So we're trying to get to 33.4 inches. And if you see, we are pretty close. We need to come down a little bit. We're about here. We're about 33 and three quarter. So we need to come down a little bit. 